Hi, Jason Beatty here for Indigo Prep blog post number 10, the third and final in our series of what is your score telling you. This is the 650 or so version. So these series of blog posts are to help you interpret your current score in the context of where you want to go and how to best get there. Many of my students over the years who are scoring in the 650 area are aiming for a 700 plus and they need to know how to position their studying in order to maximi maximize the likelihood that they're going to get that 700 plus. Of course, individual cases may vary. This is general guidance. A 650 or so is about a 75th percentile score. That could be about a 36 on the verbal or a 46 on the quant. Quant, it can be a little bit lower because quant scores are so packed up um, in the sort of upper 50s. Uh, I'm sorry, upper 40s uh, and lower 50s. But this, this is you. This is the person that I'm speaking to, right? Uh, this is around what you're getting. Uh, so here's the straight talk that, uh, that I want to tell you. The likelihood is, if you're getting around 650, that you know most, if not all, of the content. Uh, and the second likelihood is you're dramatically underusing the alternative methods. The vast majority of my students that are stuck at that 650 level uh, know all the content and are really, really approaching the test from a, from a content uh, basis which means that you're very unlikely to see additional score movement above 650 if you only focus on content improvement. You've likely pinned the needle or have the maximum possible score that you can get with all of the content. So here's the good news, right? You can get above a 650, but you have to very much change your approach at this time. And that approach is embracing the alternative methods and embracing the strategy of the test. So plenty of people have gone from a 650 to a 700 and you can too. But getting your score to a 650 versus above a 650 is very, very different. How you get up to a 650 is by knowing the content. How you get beyond a 650 is with strategy. What you need to do now is revisit how you're using the answer choices to help you best answer the question. You are underusing things most likely like back solving or estimating or, you know, the variable in the answer choice approach, which we call input black box output. Uh, you're probably not using the number properties of the answer choices to eliminate before you solve. So what you need to do right now is close the content books and do a lot of official guide questions, but focus on the answer choices. What are the answer choices telling you that it, that will allow you to do less work and less math or alternatively check your math when you're done in order to improve your score? It's very, very hard to get above a 650 unless you take the test strategically. That's my big message. Uh, thank you ever so much for listening. I hope that this was enlightening. If you have any questions about this, uh, here are uh, a number of ways to reach out. I look forward to talking with you. And as always, if not, best of luck on your GMAT studies.